What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival, and today we're going to be talking about uh, chemical fire starting. And you know, chemical fire starting is uh, something that you should only do in an emergency situation. And the, the technique I'm going to demonstrate today is uh, very popular with um, British you know, military like SAS and uh, Royal Marines and stuff like that. And this is a uh, potassium permanganate. And a lot of them carry this in their personal survival kits. And, uh, and you know, the uh, survival guru expert, you know, John Lofty Wiseman, where a lot of people have copied his work over the time. Uh, he's like the, uh, one of the most renowned experts. He, uh, in his book, uh, SAS Survival Handbook, he says that you should carry a small vial of this in your uh, personal survival kit. And the reason why that is is because it's a multifunctional item. It's uh, granular, so it takes, uh, you can make water, you can disinfect water with it with just a few granules. You can make a uh, purple dye with it to mark in the snow to give off your uh, presence to uh, search or, or rescue teams and uh, it can make an antiseptic solution for first aid to clean out wounds and it can also start fires with a technique I'm going to show you today. Now there's a few different ways to sh uh, start a fire with this but I'm just going to show one and uh, like I said if you carry this in your kit you can mix it with uh, some, some uh, types of uh, different chemicals and one of them being glycerin, and pretty much anything that has a, a glycerin byproduct in it is going to work. Things like um, hydraulic fluid, um, antifreeze, and brake fluid. You know, stuff that you know. If you're in a plane crash, if you survive, a, if you're lucky enough to survive a plane crash. You got some of this on you, or you're, you know, in your vehicle. Your vehicle breaks down somewhere. You can mix this, uh, you know, these two components together and start a fire. So basically. What we're going to do, and this has got a delayed reaction, but we're going to, and let me get a platform real quick. But we're going to pour just a little bit out. And you can see the granule form. Now this is very corrosive and it will mess up anything it gets on as far as diet, like clothing and stuff like that. So be careful. careful. You want to stand back whenever this stuff starts smoking. But there's a delayed reaction. And uh, it's very violent when it does go off, so I encourage you to stand back. You can see they're starting to smoke now. You can see there now it's flaming up. You can just throw your tinder on there. And you got a quick and easy fire. All right, guys, so that was uh, chemical fire starters. Like I said, I would only use this in an emergency. Um, you know, this stuff's very dangerous mixed together. You, you've seen that violent reaction, but it's also something good to know how to do in the case that you do wind up in an uh, emergency situation. Check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for more tips and tutorials. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.